education, upbringing, beliefs, experiences, imagination, relationships, personality, and your values are some of the things that have not just eaten deep into your nature, but they have become your very nature. When was the last time you questioned any of these things? When was the last time you questioned how you think? Join me, Emmanuel Utomi, and my guests every Monday from 9 p.m. on BRZ 109.2 FM London on Perspectives. Because how you think powers your worldviews, actions, and your ultimate reality. So, come on. Let us explore alternative ways of looking at life's issues. Perspectives. What you already know should not stand in the way of what you could learn. Well, a very good evening to you, my dear listeners, and you are welcome to the Prayer Rally Zone, PRZ 109.2 FM, and to another edition of Perspectives, the show that is designed to take you one step closer to a better life. And my name is Emmanuel Utomi. I'd like you to know that this program is designed to encourage you to develop the habit of of questioning your thoughts, opinions, and actions. Those thoughts, opinions, and actions that you no longer question or that you are taking for granted. And basically what I'm talking about is getting you to the point where you can question your beliefs. Question those things that have impacted on your life so far. Perspectives also here to inspire you to develop a progressive and a solution-based mindset. That is to get you to have a positive and creative approach towards all the challenges that life will definitely throw your way. The truth is this, at every single point, I I believe it was uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes that said, at every point in time in your life, you are either just coming out of one crisis, or you are in one crisis, or you are heading towards one. So, Perspectives as a program is designed to get you to the point where you develop a solution, a progressive and a solution-based mindset. And you know what? I I remember at the beginning of this year, I ran a series titled Small Practice, Big Changes. And at the heart of that series was this question, that by the end of this year, where would you like to end up? I mean, what is that one, what, what, what one thing needs to happen or what one thing do you need to achieve this year in order to consider this year a success for you then i i also asked what do you need to learn what do you need to do Uh, who do you need to become in order to achieve these goals see it's a four-part series that's loaded with information that will guide you to identify your vision and your goal for the year and to equip you with techniques that will lead you into the achievement so I'd like to encourage you, whatever, if you're listening to this broadcast now, or you're listening to this recording, I'd like you to go into the PRZ FM Africa SoundCloud account. You can you can listen to those broadcasts for free, or you can download them and listen to them at your own leisure. Again, the title for that series is Small Practice, Big Changes. It will teach you how to set goals, how to identify the goals that are important in your life, how to set visions, identify your visions, and then techniques on how to pursue them. So, this is what I want you to do. So, do that, and I, I'm sure you'll be uh, uh, you more than be you. You more than be blessed as you do that in Jesus' name. With me today, I have um, the man himself. Um, he doesn't like me using titles, so I'm just going to call his name straight. Uh, you, are, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Please say hello to the people. Um, it's good to be in house again, and good evening. He is the one that I usually talk about that when he starts... It's usually at a very low level. Then somewhere along the line, the thing just picks up. And disclaimer here, I don't touch the volume. Man of God, you're welcome, sir. It's good to be in now. Okay, so um, last about two, three weeks now, we've been running this series on um, how to, what we titled this, Strengthen Each Other. 
and we took our, scri- our, our, our scripture from First um, Corinthians fourteen twenty six, and from the New Living Translation, it says, "Well, my brothers and sisters, let's summarize. When we meet together, one will sing, another will teach, another will." Tell some special revelation God has given. One will speak in tongues and another will interpret what he said. But everything that is done must strengthen you all. So the idea is we're believing God that the things that we're going to be sharing during this series will strengthen you in one way or the other. We've talked about the Holy Spirit. We've talked about love. We've talked about several things. We've talked about uh, what was it that Dr. Um, shared last week? um, We've talked about dual citizenship. We've talked about dual citizenship. The love of God. The love of God. So there's so much that that we, we've been sharing on this series, and I'd like to encourage you go into the PRZ FM Africa SoundCloud account, and you can listen to previous broadcast of this series for free, and you can equally download them. You know what? I strongly believe that there is, there is a season, or there are seasons in every human life when sometimes you need to be challenged to 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 move ahead to just. Take that one more step. Or it could be to encourage you to, to get up out of the despair and the despair that you find yourself. Or it could be to a time where you need someone to offer you a fresh direction on new possibilities around you that you're not necessarily seeing. Or it could be that you, you are in a time when you need to be inspired to see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel or just some motivation to stay there and never give up this is what this series is designed to achieve in our life so what i have done is to to ask some of my friends to come into the studio and share with us some of the scriptures that have blessed them and to and to hope pray god that those scriptures will also find um, their place in our hearts and be a blessing to us so i'd like to hand over to Muiwa to 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 lead us in what you want us to share for for today um well I'm going to do this to you today. Oh uh, boy! Oh no! Uh, when he does that, it means he has <laughs> questions. It's, it's, oh it's not boy. that. Um, I listened to him on Saturday. Oh dear! And I will ask him that he needs to do that series on this on this okay, show. Okay. He, he needs to. He right, needs to do. He you needs to do. Word. It's, do it's one of the most intriguing um, teaching that I've heard in a long while. It's the title itself. It's 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 beautiful. So please make sure that that series. It's okay. called logically yeah, nonsense. logically nonsense. It's, so it's beautiful. Okay, it's okay. Amazing. You have my word. He has put me on the spot. So <laughs> I, I I I will run a series on logically nonsense, and I guarantee you, by the grace of God, you will be blessed. You'll be blessed. So, so you've committed me now. Yes, so, I have. <laughs> so, go on. Tell us what what are we what are we what, what are we we're going to deal us? with today? Okay. It's something precious to my heart. Amen. It's something that uh, it's more than food. Amen. Um, it's it's a topic that um has been neglected by Christians. Okay, but. It's it as I said. It's it's more than food. If you neglect eating or drinking, you would definitely feel the effect. Absolutely. So uh, people will tell you that something is wrong with you. You've lost weight. Mm. You're looking unkept. Mm. What is the matter? And I feel this topic we're going to be dealing with today is as equally as important as 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 food, which is the subject of prayer. Amen. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it's it's something that uh, I believe that Christians have moved away from, and without it, there won't be power in the church. Mm. There won't be change in the nations, and and it's just something that is precious to my heart. Something that I have seen as a young man while I was in school changed on changing situation for me. Mm. Not because I can pray, but it's because I know for sure that God answers prayers. Amen. It's just the same way that you know that when you eat certain food, you will get nutrients from those food. Yep. Same is prayer. If you engage yourself to it, I guarantee you God does answer prayer. So it's something that I'm looking forward to um, discussing with you tonight. And yep. let's 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 go down. Let's go. So where do you want to start us off from? Um, I, I want us to look at the life of Jesus himself. Okay. Um, and that is Luke chapter 
11. Okay. And, and I took the opportunity to look at the definition of prayer. All right. Um, the, the dictionary says a solemn request for help mm-hmm. or expression of thanks addressed to, to God or another deity. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's something you are crying for help. Or you need uh, an expression of thanksgiving okay. to a God mm-hmm. or another deity. That means something that is supreme, yeah. something that is higher than you, something that something that um, can. It's just like someone that is bigger than you that can help you so out of that, that situation. situation. Yeah. So yeah. when I looked at it, I said, okay, uh, that's, that's cool. And we, we want to look at Luke chapter 11 okay. and from verse 1, sir, if you can okay. help. So, so this is Luke, the 11th yes, chapter sir. from verse 1. Yes, sir. I'm permitted to read the New Living Translation. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Doctor is not here, so we, we don't have to use <laughs> King James. Like, uh, but King, every, King James is cool. It's all right? my it's cool. Anyway. All right. All right. So Luke chapter 11 and um, verse 1. Mm-hmm. It says, Once Jesus was in a certain place praying. Okay. As he finished, mm-hmm. one of his disciples came to him and said... So, sorry, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus was in a certain place praying. Praying, yeah. One of his disciples came to him, mm-hmm. paraphrase, and yeah. said, Master, yeah. Yeah. teach us to pray. to pray as John taught his disciple. Mm-hmm. So that means John is, uh, John himself is a man of prayer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because go, go yeah. read okay. it so that at least as you will say, yeah. we will say it in All the right. So as he finished, one of his disciples mm-hmm. came to him and said, mm-hmm. Lord, teach us to pray mm-hmm. just as John taught his disciples. Verse 2 says, Jesus said, mm-hmm. this is how you should pray. Mm-hmm. Father, May your name be kept holy. Mm-hmm. May your kingdom come soon. Mm-hmm. Give us each day the food we need. Mm-hmm. And forgive us our sins. Mm-hmm. As we forgive those who sin against us. Mm-hmm. And don't let us yield to temptation. Mm-hmm. Then, teaching them more about prayer, mm-hmm. he used this story. Okay. He says, suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight. Okay. Wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him... A friend of mine has just arrived for a visit, and I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom, Don't bother me. The door is locked for the night, and my family and I are all in bed. I can't help you. But I tell you this, though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, he will get up, and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. Because of your shameless, shameless pers- persistence. Okay. It says, verse 9 says, And so I tell you, keep on asking, mm-hmm. and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. He says, you fathers, if your children ask for a fish, do you give them a snake instead? Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So, if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? You see, for me, for years, and... You see, I, I've said this to you many times. I remember back home um, in Nigeria, mm-hmm. I was meant to have gone into higher institution and registered so yeah. that I can start the semester. But I was gallivanting, not playing around, going with Reverend Dr. Dude Jordan to, to crusades and all mm-hmm. that. And I came back and I was told that, oh, well, sorry, admission closed, so you need to wait for... The next the season, next, season. Semester. Well, next, next, next year, next year, and I'm like, oh there, I'm from a Muslim mom. Well, how do I go back home hmm. and tell them that you've given me the money, hmm. but I chose <laughs> to follow Reverend Doctor Tunde Joda all over the place, 
and 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 we did all we could i wasn't the only one we asked the governor to intervene we took the case to court i said okay we agreed that you will your admission stands mm -hmm. but you will not get in this year wow you will get in next year and i remember well i remember well i just said to myself i said okay and i took my admission letter threw a copy of it went into we call it um we call it uh there's a name we call the mission house okay. in abiokuta christ so chapel yeah, you go christ chapel okay. mission house okay. i just went in there i spoke to pastor Biodun. so i was there by myself for three days i started on wednesday no food no water i anointed the admission noise slept you know lie on it and i was there groaning to god praying to god that lord show me that you're still god mm. and by friday pastor Biodu came into my room and said you this boy that you've been giving from friday to monday for people to register for them to register the admission yeah. and they will be allowed to come in yeah. you see there are things that your flesh will not do when you engage god in it according to the will of the father he will turn that situation around but one of the things we've done is that we have put prayer at the back burner hmm. we are no longer praying hmm. It's no longer an issue. We cannot take time out to pray. The, the, the system, the world will not give you the time to pray. You have to create a time for yourself. Seclude yourself to God. Things that you know that human beings can no longer do for you. I can guarantee you, if you take it to God within the will of the Father, He will answer you. He will definitely answer you. Because we saw in the scripture, He said, in Himself, if you you see, there's many stories. The Bible says he will go into the wilderness or he will go into the mountain and he will pray all night. And by the time he comes back from those prayer mm. sessions, things will begin to happen. Man of God, you, you know what? Sorry. I, I, you know me. I like poaching principles and ideas that work. Now, um, we're still going to come back to what you're saying, but there was something that you said that I, I want us to learn from. I know it's been a while. But I, I, I pray the Holy Spirit will give you um, remembrance. So here you were, you were offered admission yeah. to the university, but you had other things that you were yeah. doing, yeah. like you've explained. Mm -hmm. So after all said and done, you go in there, they say to you, well, yes, we admit you've been offered admission, but we will allow you to register, but for this year, admission is closed. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets involved. They repeat the same thing. Yeah. And then you make a photocopy of this admission letter. Yep. You go into a place on your own. You anoint that admission letter. You lie on it. And you said you you now started to pray. Yeah. Fasting, no food, no water. Yep. This is like three days. From three days. Days. I'm going to ask you something weird because the, the idea behind this series is to help us learn what has worked. Yep. So that perhaps someone is listening to this and saying, look, I've prayed all manner of players, but this thing is not working. So maybe I can try this. Do you remember exactly what the prayer point... I know this is weird, but I just sense I should ask. Do you remember exactly what you were asking God the, for those three days? The, 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 the beauty of it is that I knew that it wasn't because I was going to party. Okay. Okay. You, I knew that. So, so you're saying it, it's you knew that you missed registering for the admission because not because you were doing some other stuff that, but you because I, you were serving God because I was serving. God. So you had the confidence to that, go back to the God you were serving. Yes, and you were saying to God, it's because I was doing your job. That is why I, I missed doing what I'm supposed to do. And it wasn't intentional. Okay, so I'm saying what I'm hearing you say, therefore, is that even before you prayed, this was your mindset. Yeah, this was my mindset. So you're saying to yourself, ah, but I, I did this thing for God. Yeah. Why? Okay, okay. And, I, 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 and I, you see, for me, I'm saying it with all humility mm. and with total respect to whoever is listening to us. Mm. Prayer for me, it's 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 more important than food mm. for me yeah i'm not 
I say it with all humbleness because I have seen it work. I have seen what prayers can do. But well, I'm still coming back. So the, the now, starting point was that you, you, first of all, you, in your mind, yeah. you were going to God on the basis that God. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't because I uh, knew I should rest and I did not. It. But for one reason or the other, while I wasn't doing your job, yes. I wasn't able to get around to register. Yeah. So this was even your mindset that before was before you prayed. And, and when, this was why you were going to God. Yeah, and okay. I went to God on that basis mm -hmm. and I prayed not in my understanding. Okay. I prayed in the spirit. So you're saying... Okay. Oh, oh. I, I, I'm I'm sorry I'm, I'm I'm you know what I'm trying to do is this, is this from Anthony Robbins he said he said if it took someone twenty years mm. to perfect a a particular cake recipe so this this is a cake that has won awards all through the years he says if it took the person twenty years to perfect that recipe he asked the question he says can you learn it in five minutes and most people yes. said no and he said the answer is yes, yes. I can learn it yeah. and he said this is how you do it he says all you do is go to the person and ask the person bake the cake yeah and he says once the person picks up the first ingredient just hold the person by the hand mm -hmm. and say okay hold on what do you have there okay one ounce of flour so you write it down so mm. by documenting exactly what that person is doing now you're, you're able to me. learn yes, immediately yes, what sir. that what it has taken that person 20 years mm -hmm. to learn now mm -hmm. the reason i'm doing this is because look i have to the glory of god i have seen you pray i've seen you pray for yourself I've seen you pray for people i've seen you pray over situations and circumstances that man on the average will give up on and i have seen physical results i've seen god intervene in in this situation so my questions are very specific so forgive me no, it's okay, so sir. are you saying that number one you had a clear understand before you even prayed yes sir your idea was god you know I did not gallivant. About. I wasn't testing you. I wasn't uh -huh. testing you. It's not like I intentionally intentionally decided I was not going to go register. But things happened that I quote and unquote Beyond, I just did yeah. not get around to registering because I was working doing your job or working for you, quote and unquote. I know some people have issues with that. So this is your mindset. Then you you separate yourself for three days. Are you saying that throughout those three days, all you did was to pray in the spirit? Throughout those three days. Okay. Was there anything else you were doing? What, no. What, was there anything else you were saying no. while you were praying in you the see, spirit? What, what, one of the things I have learned as I pray in the spirit, mm. specific scriptures was being given. Mm, okay. Specific scriptures was, let me say I have two hours. Okay. I remember well specific scriptures will be given and I'll go and open it. And those scriptures this is during those three during days. those three those scriptures were comforting to my spirit. Mm. Mm. I can't remember those scriptures, okay. but I knew that those scriptures were comforting to my spirit. You see, by the second day there is a calmness in my spirit. But you kept praying. But I kept praying. The, you know when the peace of God is like just relax. Okay. So by the second day, this was what you were feeling. I was even feeling in the prayer. I was I was place feeling of prayer. Ease. Amen. Okay. I wasn't it wasn't that I knew that oh God will do it the third day, but there's this just calmness mm -hmm. over my soul, over my because the first day I was in tears. I was mm. I was I was crying like a baby that what do I say to them at home? So you were feeling this that how am I gonna explain myself to them at home? But you were praying. Yes. Hang on a minute. So you know what? I I want us to be very real because that's what I'm, I'm not no, lying I'm, to anybody. I'm, I'm happy that you're sharing this because I'm not lying to anybody. <laughs> in, in in some ways, these are the parts of the people we respect when we see God use them that we don't hear about. Okay, so I'm trying to capture this. So, one, you had missed registering for admission. Yes, sir. Two, 
you were told that yes you can register but you have to hit, wait another for year. another yeah. year now to you were you were you had already been given the money to go pay for that admission <laughs> everything needed to much more so you get to a point where you now go back to god and you're saying god you have to intervene because what am i going to say to them at home mm. now as a result of knowing that you were working for god it wasn't intentional you weren't trying to test god or anything it was just let's call it an honest mistake that's it you now go to god that god you have to bail me out here so what i'm saying is that while you were praying somewhere at the back of your mind there was this this thoughts were still coming that <laughs> what am i going to say to it's, them at home? It's, it, because at that even point i don't even know what to put, what to say i just, that's why i engage god that in praying in the spirit i was just there in tears i was panicking hmm. i knew that i won't hear the end of it wow uh, more so oh you've given your life to god that is another problem on its own okay. so here because, you were you were supposed to be a muslim but you're well, now becoming you a, a muslim you, home. so the fact of the matter is that that in itself that okay was another it's another issue it's another, another, uh, another day. that oh so they I had known that. then at home that you had given your life to Christ. They knew, but not uh, to that extent where you'd be missing. Yeah, admission. not to that extent where you are told to go to school and you, you are running. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 not. It's a situation where no man can help me. Okay. The no pastor, no prophet. It's only God, and I knew. From my early, 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 early years as a Christian, that because I saw a man called Reverend Doctor Tunde Joda pray, mm. okay. and I knew that God does answer prayers. It's as clear as anything in my heart that if you can engage Him according to His will, He's a good Father. Mm. And I just said, okay. If you remember Second Chronicles chapter twenty, if I can verse remember 20, well, yeah. verse twenty, you see, it's a situation where there was hopelessness. Mm -hmm. There was no answer anywhere for this problem that they were facing. Mm -hmm. So all they needed to do was to gather themselves and fast and cry unto God. Mm -hmm. And I remember well, if I can remember it, I think it's the king or so. Um, Jehoshaphat yeah. went to the temple and threw the book down and said, Lord, are you not the same God that our father told us about that parted the Red Sea? So where are you? <laughs> this has gone beyond us. You see, most times, there are situations in our life, no matter how solid you are in Christian, no matter how solid your faith, you will come across situations on a daily basis that will bring fear to your heart that, okay, this is beyond me. And I remember well, I will not, I remember well, at a point, Reverend uh, uh, Pastor Biodun needed to come to the room and say, are you okay? Mm. Because it, the tears was a tears of groaning. Mm. Just that when yeah. you, when you cry from your heart yeah. that, what am I going to tell them at home? And I knew by the t second day that, okay, just cool down. Mm. I had not received the answers then. But there's just this calmness. And you see, even as at now, sir, when I come again, a challenging situation, and I get to that point, once there's peace is there, I just have a, I know from, for a fact that all I need to do is just wait a little bit longer, that clarity and answer will come. Hmm. There's something that I, I, I want you to help us bring balance to because and i'm drawing this from a statement that you made that a time came during this issue that you it you it dawned on you that no pastor could help you no prophet could help you definitely sir. that it was only god yes sir. okay so I, i'm going to be careful in the way i frame this so how what do you say to someone listening now who um would say but I've prayed and nothing happens. I, I have to go. Let me go and 
talk to this prophet or to this pastor or to this bishop to help me pray? What you say? I will. I will can I? Am I allowed to use Absolutely, myself? please just you go see, for it. For me, I remember. I thought was it last year? I told you something about work. If you remember, yeah. so I was having a pretty pretty challenging issues at work. Before it happened, I knew that it was going to happen anyway. I knew it was going to happen and all that. But even as at that, I got panicking. That, oh, am I going to lose my job? Yeah. yeah. That, whoa. What's going on? But, and later on I asked myself, I called the pastor that you know well. Yeah. I called the person and the person said, hey, I can't help. Hmm. So this is what the person told you. He, 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 I said it whilst yeah. he was you were there yeah, when I yeah. said it. He said I can't help. God asked me to tell you that you just have to go through it. Yeah. And and I just knew that but one of the things he said to me during that challenging that in this term two things will happen to you that will elevate you. Sir, those two things happened. So there are times that when you're going through issues of life and you're running out of skelter, sometimes God will not intervene because he wants you to come to him. And I can guarantee you, if you engage God in secret, in secret by yourself, I can guarantee you by the time you call those prophets or those pastors, it will be a confirmation of what God has told you yourself in the place of prayer. That will, even before you open your mouth, a word will come to you that, here, this is what God is saying, and this is what will happen. It will be a confirmation as in what God has said to you in your private or in the secret place where you have engaged him and him alone. Okay, I'm going to play Thomas here. Yeah. So, you, you know in the Bible when Jesus said to the disciples, um, you know the way. Thomas was the only one that spoke up and said, excuse me, sir. We don't know the way. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm trying to build at is the fact that maybe because I know you, I, I can boldly say I know you hear God. Either through scriptures, audibly, you, I know you hear God. Now, it is possible that there are those of us who don't have that um, grace, let me use that word, to hear God the way you do. So, if I find myself in a situation that is similar. I'm praying, right? But it's not like I've been hearing anything before. So I just pray by faith. So, but now I know I need to hear God. So how 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 do I navigate that time? Because you're talking about what when you call the prophet or the pastor or the bishop, what they will be telling you should be a confirmation of what God has spoken to you about. So. I'm just saying, for just for just indulge me. What about those that don't hear anything when they pray and just pray by faith, believing that God has heard? You see, most times, God can use unbeliever to speak to you, mm -hmm. but you say, God can use whilst finish praying and you open the scripture, if you are careful enough. You will see that that scripture is speaking to your situation. Mm. Guarantee. Yeah. You will just, for one strange reason, probably you want to, f you know, flip over the scripture, but something will just say, case in point, last week started, last week Friday, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I said it was it last week Friday. I was just, I just took time out and I just stayed to just pray. So when you mean when you say stay, it that means, means you spend time. time. That means to take actually, take away, okay, take time away from the hustling and bustling. Yeah, you know, of, we're just trying to you know, so that yeah, we're using okay, our Christian our to, to, <laughs> Take time out from our hustling and bustling mm -hmm. to just spend time with God. Okay. And whilst I was there, I started at probably about half eight, and I was still there about half two, and I was just crying to God that Lord specifically not for myself but for people that i know that are going through okay. issues of life and all that and i remember after it's like god just said 
a scripture just dropped in my heart hmm. Isaiah 4 and as I read the first part it doesn't make meaning to me it, hmm. it means nothing but as I went into the second half towards the part he said I will set a canopy like a flaming fire over you to shield you from the heat of the sun hmm. from the storms of life and for me I just stop praying get up for me it's an answer and god you somebody i've never ever ever met before in my life never seen in my life somebody was talking to the person mm. and the person said oh by the way so 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 person tell him god said and i started crying mm. so because this was a message for, for you Concerning the things from, I was praying from okay. Nigeria, from someone that ne I have never, never met you. I've never yeah. met the person. I, I don't know the person, but someone that I know was speaking to the person, and in the middle of their conversation, I said, "Hold on, you said you do so, so, so." so. He said, "Yes, okay. Tell the person that God asked me to tell him that this is the this is what he needs to do for what he's prayed for." So you're getting directions from. from some Oh, you know what? Let let's let's um, try to help ourselves here. Mm. Okay, all right. Uh, from what I'm hearing you say, it is clear that if I'm able to pray and I can get responses from God. Mm -hmm it makes a world of difference because yes, it's those responses that will serve as the direction to the next set of steps that i need to take in order to receive the answers let me give that you I an want. example okay. sir if you are operating your computer okay and you're having problem loading some stuff and all that mm -hmm. and someone just sends you an email or someone gives you a call and say oh emmanuel you are struggling with abc just press control f mm -hmm. d and that, that will solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Won't you be happy? Good. Then stay with the computer till eternity and nothing Good. is coming up. So what I'm hearing you therefore say is that when you're comparing that to prayer where you're struggling with a particular thing and you get clear instructions from God yes, on what to, to do, do yeah. to deal with that situation. Yeah. That's exactly at the heart of the question I'm about to ask that. Okay, So we're clear that those instructions from God it's actually what is most important. It's not the prayer that we're It's not the make. prayer. It is what God says. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what you've also said from, so listening to you so far, one of the finest ways that God will speak th to you is while in the pray place of prayer, mm. he might just give you a scripture. Yeah. That most that, times. That scripture would make sense to you. Yeah. It may not make sense to anyone else. Yes, sir. Sometimes, I, I, again, I'm trying to glean from what you've said, mm. that sometimes God will actually speak to you by bringing peace into, into your, your heart, heart. Yeah. while you're praying that for you're still praying the challenge is still there yeah. but somewhere in your heart that worry is no longer there you just feel you know what everything will be fine and it might even give you a song good so these are it some of the ways song. that the worship God, song will just come to your heart actually i i i, I can i can identify with that because <laughs> i think i i've shared this on this program before that um there was a, a there was a year that my wife and I went to China, and and we went on this trip. And it was the bus that we came in through had taken us to this city, and we had lost track of time. We lost the bus, and there was no way of heading from where we were to the where we were staying. We this was a country we'd never been before, and I was worried. But even in that worry, I kept praying. Now, the funny thing is, a Bob Marley song, I don't, it, it, till today, it, it has never, make sense. It, it never made sense. But as I was praying to God, that song just dropped into my eyes. Says, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. And the funny thing is, immediately that song started playing in my head. It was as if someone poured cold water on my heart. I just calmed down and it, it was as if there was a knowing in my head that we will get home I, 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 every single ounce of fear of concern just left and miraculously 
the afternoon before we took that trip, I had bought a new phone that had a Chinese translation. So what we did was we approached a certain guy who never who didn't speak English. And what I did was to type English on that phone and showed him the Chinese translation. The guy was a cab driver and he was the one that eventually took us from where we were to where we were staying that night. It, it, it's so I, I, I appreciate what you're saying that God will maybe this is where what you said uh, talking about logically nonsense will come in that there are certain things there are certain ways that God will choose to reach out to you that's it in the place of prayer and from what you've also said prayer is not necessarily only when we separate wow. ourselves it, it's reaching out to God from the yeah. definition you you read that is reaching out to a deity, a power that is beyond you, that but that you know is in a position to help. To help. Mm -hmm. And it, when you're doing that, that you should be open enough to to allow him reach you in any way, shape, or form. That even like Balaam, the prophet, who who was on his donkey and was hitting the donkey, and the donkey would not want to go funny enough that is a form of prayer in itself mm -hmm. and funny enough that was restraining that donkey was an answer to for the look, prayer for that him not to be for him not, not to, to be, be killed. killed you see as you were saying you see one of the things god won't do is to tamper with the will of man hmm. he won't do he would he would hmm. never do that he would never so one, you must recognize that you need his help. Hmm. It is extremely important. It's, it's just like this beautiful country called United Kingdom. There are help out there only if you reach out. That's correct. Absolutely. So they won't come to your house and knock on your door hmm. that this is the help. There are certain things that you need to do if you're homeless. There are certain things that you need to do in order for yeah. them to give you property. Yeah. If you need food and all that. So, same with God. You need to first understand that you've come to the end of yourself. Hmm. It's, 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 once you get to that position, then you are saying, okay, I need help. Hmm. And once you can cry out to him in sincerity of heart, he would definitely as a good father reach out but you said that what what he won't do is to answer us the way he, he we want him to answer us he yeah. won't do that as you said you see if you tell someone that oh i i pray to god and there's a bob marley song that came to you uh, <laughs> don't worry everything people will say oh this guy is, this, this guy is carnal but are you god hmm. he he chooses to do what he wants to do because he's god Hmm. It can't be questioned. Why do you do this? It's like it's the same way the United Kingdom. How dare you say, "Oh, why you you are the one that need help"? Hmm. So just confirm yourself in order for you to get the help. The same way with God. Believe me, prayer works. One, you must, and it it takes discipline to pray. Hmm. Could you elaborate a bit? More because it it it's it's. it's Setting time out to okay, like, so the bit of prayer where you now decide to set, set time out it's it's not it's okay. not easy okay. it's I can guarantee you, but you but would advise that we do you it. i I strongly not just I strongly okay. advise you see the beauty of it is that once you do it or once you start once you start doing it, mm. you will enjoy it because he brings results absolutely so it, it it's it, it's something that one uh, setting out to pray if you've not been someone that engages in prayer for well it's going to be difficult after five minutes your mind is telling you what are you doing you can't see god it's nonsense but what i tell people is just stay there yeah. it comes a, it will come a point where I, I i tell people you will break that mind barrier once you can do that and you get into the flow you won't want to stop it's beautiful and obviously it's helpful if you if you're able to pray in the spirit it's also. it's the most important if you pray in the spirit it is beautiful it's yeah i can't i can't explain it enough it's it's 
it's timeless it's it's okay. miraculous so, so let me let me ask you i don't know if i should say this is a trick question are there things that you would advise someone to do on a regular basis that will help them develop that discipline of prayer study the word okay is the most you see not study fall in love with the word okay how yeah. how what are some of what are some it's, of the things that you can do to fall in love it's the same way you fall in love i support chelsea yeah, disclaimer I'm, 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 I don't know anything about that so. <laughs> so it's the same way people fall in love with their football club okay. it's something that you enjoy doing okay. it's part of you you don't struggle you see I love the word I don't study the way you study but I can take a scripture and stay with it for weeks just looking at the scripture again asking the spirit of God to explain to show me the depth of the spirit to speak it might just be one scripture okay. and as i stay with it it will just open it up to me and with that i can pray with it i can just stay and sometimes i do my work i can do half an hour work and i will just pray very good there, there was there's there's a question that i i'm happy you brought up this issue that i want to ask you know people let me put it this way. People say, pray with this scripture. Pray with this scripture. Um, how, how, okay, so, um, someone says, okay, um, pray with Psalm 23. Okay, okay. They don't tell you, to pray with Psalm this. How, how do we do that successfully? Let me put that. How, is it that, um, let me not put words in your mouth. No, okay, no, no, no. how do you pray with the scripture? Okay, you see, Bible says the letter kill it. Okay. But the, but spirit, the spirit gives life. Give life. Okay. You see, for me, and if you don't have the scripture stored in your heart, mm -hmm. what will the Holy Spirit prompt you to pray about? Okay. So if someone says to me, Emmanuel, pray with Psalm 23. Or mm -hmm. if someone says to you, pray with Psalm 23, mm -hmm. how would you go about it? I will first look at Psalm 23. Okay. I have to look at Psalm 23. Okay. Once I look at psalm 23 and i said i wouldn't read because somebody asked me to look at psalm 23 okay. i will read asking the holy spirit to show me mm -hmm. psalm 23 okay so as you begin to read psalm 23 i can guarantee you i can guarantee you that as you ask the spirit of god to show you by the time you read the first the second that psalm will begin to make meanings to you. So does, if, is that what is that what you mean when you say you ask the Holy Spirit to show you to show you for for it to make meaning yeah. to you? you? Okay. Okay. Anybody can read Psalm twenty three. Okay. You can. Well, read. just using Psalm twenty three as yeah, an example exactly. here. But okay. if somebody asks you to read Psalm twenty three, okay. ask the Spirit of God to interpret Psalm twenty three to you okay. for your benefit. Okay. So. So, how will I now pray with it? How you will pray? Because you've asked the Holy Spirit to show you. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will guide you how to pray. Okay. So, this is... So, we've looked at a situation where you have the psalm with you. You have that scripture with you. You've mm -hmm. gone away. You've asked the Holy Spirit for enlightenment. The Holy Spirit has given you enlightenment. And um, you're praying. Yeah. No problem. So, what about situations where... Because I see this happen regularly. When a fellowship meeting or a church service and say okay we're going to pray with Sam so and so or mm. with Isaiah whatever or mm. Jeremiah this mm. Mm. and they just say pray you see once that I happens, don't know if that's yeah it makes okay. sense let's say Isaiah 4 mm -hmm. and as you read the Isaiah 4 that he will set up a canopy as a flame of fire over your life yeah to protect you from the heat of the sun, mm -hmm. to protect you from the storms of life, mm -hmm. and to protect you from the rain. Mm -hmm. You see, that portion, that portion mm -hmm. is what I will take okay. and begin to pray in the spirit that Lord, over my life, yeah. over the life of my loved ones, mm -hmm. build a canopy as a frame of fire to protect us from the heat, okay. to protect us from the storm, to protect us, and you begin to pray. And you see, the beauty of it is that as you begin to pray in the spirit, mm. 
God, well, the Holy Spirit will prompt another scripture to back that scripture up. Okay. So this is easier, like you said earlier, if you're already in love with the word and you have the word stored in your heart. So the Holy Spirit is able to prompt the scriptures in you, remind you those scriptures. Mm -hmm. So you're able to pray much more effectively with it, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Okay. The, you know what? The Maybe this is personal. Okay. So I need enlightenment. One of the things I've noticed, and you know what, if you're a Nigerian, you have to forgive me for what I'm about to say. But this is perspectives, the show where you are encouraged to challenge your beliefs, which means to question the things that you've taken for granted. There's a trend that I have noticed mm. <clears throat> amongst us that are of, <clears throat> excuse me, of Nigerian heritage, particularly in our churches, that the bulk of the things we draw out from scriptures, particularly when it comes to prayers, they are the negative aspects. The bulk of the things now, so so, if 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 someone looks at Psalm twenty three and says, "Okay, the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want," someone say, "Now pray that all the wants in your life." will be dealt with but what about the part that says the lord is my shepherd mm. the challenge i'm seeing there is that we are being taught much more to focus on, on the negative, the negative mm. on the bits that makes it appear as though we're it defeated as opposed to the fact that we are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. I don't know if that makes sense yeah, to you it, in any it way. It does make sense. You see, the, 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 that's why praying in the Spirit is extremely important to mm. me. You see, when for me, and I'm talking of my own personal life, um, one of the things I've learned over years is to go to God. Number one, let your will be done. Mm -hmm. I My personal prayer, I'm not talking of when I'm with friends and all that, when I go to God in prayer, my first altar words to Him is, "The Lord, let Your will be done." And I'll just engage and begin to pray in the Spirit. Mm. I might be there for an hour and an hour and a half, and God begins to speak. He begins to throw scriptures, and once I see those scriptures in between that prayer, nothing, no matter what anybody says. I stay with that scripture and it has worked for me over years. Because this is what the Holy Spirit has revealed to, to you. to me. Do you understand? So it's not because I'm coining hmm. scriptures to hmm. feel that, oh, I can, so that we can coin the prayer to make people pray oh. more. No. Out of fear. Out of fear. It is because, and over years, I can, I can, you see, I can, you can take it to the bank. And whatever you say, I, I won't. You, see, you have the mm. right not to pray, yeah. but I'm not one that writes prayer down. I'm mm. sure you've known yeah. me. Yeah. I'm not. I'm mm. not one that it's let's pray, and most of we pray in the spirit, mm. and from that prayer, scriptures begins to flow. Mm. Scriptures begins to flow. Scriptures begins to flow. It is because over time we know that okay, this is the direction God wants us to pray. Yeah. So it, it's me. I don't have. That oh let's do this let's do that I just most as I said it's extremely important to know how to pray in the spirit it mm -hmm. is it is it's to your advantage that you know how to pray in the spirit yeah I, I I know we've we've repeated that word or that phrase uh, praying in the spirit praying in the spirit I believe on we we did a, um, a, an episode on. The Holy Spirit, Spirit and praying in yeah. the Spirit. I would encourage you to go into the archives again, go into the SoundCloud account for PRZ FM Africa, and you can draw perspectives. All the episodes on perspectives, I, I guarantee you find um, um, a, a, one of those episodes where we deal with that. So, uh, man of God, um, give us a few words in closing and then pray, please. 
Well, I, as I said, one of the things that I can say to anyone going through the ordeals of life, which we'll all go through, as you said earlier on, that is either you're coming out of one, you're about to enter into one, or one is waiting for you. But you see, one of the things that God said to us that we have overcome means yeah. that in every trouble you will find yourself, you are already a victor before going into the yeah. into yeah. that situation. Amen so that. you Amen. you need to understand that uh, those situations are there to strengthen you, to get you closer to God, mm -hmm. and to let you know that you serve a living God. It is not to defeat you. It is not to 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 enjoy you if i may say that but it is for you to know that you serve a living god Amen. and lord i ask Amen. in the name that is above every other name Amen. perhaps if anyone is there looking unto you for an answers i ask tonight as the person listen to us in 24 hours show to this person that you are god Amen. that still hears prayers Amen. show yourself Amen. in the name of the father Amen the name of the son amen. the name of the holy spirit amen i don't know I, if there's any lady listening to us and your child is sick that child will be well don't don't stress yourself amen. about it thank amen. you holy spirit amen. praise god well if you've been um affected by any of the things that you've heard on this program today and you'd like to reach out to any one of us for um further support or assistance please feel free to write um send us an email you can send your emails to perspectives at przfm.com or you can send a text to 0757-260-5435 perspectives is spelled as p-a-s-p-e-k-t-i-v-e-s and as we close i'd like to say thank you for joining us it has been a pleasure having you on this program but we continue same time next week and please whatever you do go into this week and practice what you've heard because that is where the change happens. So until we meet again, I'd like to say thank you and God bless. Bye bye. Your culture, education, upbringing, beliefs, experiences, imagination, relationships, personality, and your values are some of the things that have not just eaten deep into your nature but they have become your very nature when was the last time you questioned any of these things when was the last time you questioned how you think join me Emmanuel Utomi and my guests every Monday from 9 p.m. on PRZ 109.2 FM London on perspectives because how you think powers your worldviews, actions, and your ultimate reality. So, come on, let us explore alternative ways of looking at life's issues, perspectives. What you already know should not stand in the way of what you could learn.